In this video, we're going to continue looking at operations on functions. We're going to focus on multiplication and division. So if I'm taking f times g of x, what that means is I'm just going to take f of x and multiply by g of x. If I take f divided by g of x, then I'm just going to take f of x divided by g of x. So it's like the same concept as addition and subtraction. If I'm going to multiply two functions together, you just multiply them. If I'm going to divide my two functions, you just divide them. So if I'm taking f times g of x, we're going to write it out. I have x squared plus 7x plus 12 as f. Again, put it into parentheses. So x squared. And I have plus 7x plus 12. And I'm multiplying by g of x, which is 3x minus 4. So even when we learn to multiply polynomials, we learn to distribute and combine like terms. So it's the same thing here. x squared to 3x and x squared to negative 4 is 3x cubed minus 4x squared. 7x to 3x and 7x to negative 4 is plus 21x squared minus 28x. 12 to 3x and 12 to negative 4 gives me 36x minus 48. And so here I'm going to just combine my like terms. You know, 3x cubed is all by itself. So I have 3x cubed, negative 4x squared plus 21x squared is plus 17x squared. Negative 28x plus 36x is plus 8x, and I have minus 48. And so when I distribute and combine like terms, it's no different than multiplying a polynomial together. And so this is multiplying two functions together. Dividing two functions, f divided by g of x, is very simple. We're not going to go into the depth of doing long division or doing synthetic division. If I'm giving you f divided by g of x, what I want you to do is just put the two functions in a fraction. So I'm going to take f, which is x squared, plus 7x plus 12, and I'm going to divide by 3x minus 4. Just write it out. We're not going to go into the long division process. We're just going to write them together as a fraction. So we see multiplication. We see division. Let's do two more examples. This time, f of x is x squared minus 7x plus 2. So in problem 3, I'm asked to take f of x times g of x. So x squared minus 7x plus 2 times g of x, which is x plus 4. Again, distribute x squared to x and x squared to 4 gives me x cubed. And I have plus 4x squared. Negative 7x to x is negative 7x squared. Negative 7x to 4 is negative 28x. 2 to x is positive 2x. And 2 to 4 is 8. So combined like terms, I get x cubed minus 3x squared, that's 4x squared minus 7x squared, minus 26x, negative 28x plus 2x, and then I have plus 8. Distribute, combine like terms. No different than multiplying, when we write it out, polynomials. F divided by g, you take your f, x squared minus 7x plus 2, and just put it over g, which is x plus 4. Now, normally we would go one step further into synthetic division or long division. We'd be looking at remainders. But in chapter 7, we're just going to focus on what does it look like to do the division operation. And so this is multiplication and division, no different than multiplying polynomials and dividing polynomials. Distribute and combine like terms for multiplication and write it as a fraction for division. 